Welcome. This screencast is meant to show elementary educators in training how to add integers, what models we use to add integers, how we explain this to children. Um, one of our models is going to use integer chips. Uh, all of the chips represent one. Uh, the yellow ones will represent positive one, and the blue ones will represent negative one. Uh, there's no symbolism in the colors there. It's just this is bright and positive, and this is more cool, so maybe that's negative. Uh, so let's pretend for the moment that we're just going to add some integers, uh, maybe 2 plus 3, maybe. Uh, here there's nothing fancy, right? We just have 2, and then we have 3 more, and, and that's 5, and there's nothing fancy whatsoever, right? Right. So the question is, what happens if it's not 2 plus 3, but it's 2 plus negative 3. So if it's 2 plus negative 3, then we've got this thing going on. And the question is, what is that? Well, the key thing to show children in this scenario, and the key thing to understand for ourselves, is that a positive 1 and a negative 1 together, that's 0. Positive 1 and negative 1 together, that's 0. And you can remove a 0 pair without changing the value inside our play area. We can say that that's 0. We can remove that 0 from the play area, and then it doesn't change the value of what's happening in the play area. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. That's all that's left in the play area. And this works for, for negatives plus positives. If it was uh, negative 1 plus 4, uh, if we had negative 1 plus 4, we would represent that thusly, negative 1 plus 4, and we would recognize that this is a zero pair and can be removed from the play area without changing the value inside. And so negative 1 plus 4, that's 3. This is the integer chip model for addition. We throw everything into the play area. We remove zero pairs as necessary. And then whatever remains in the play area is the number we're looking for. The other way we model is to use a number line. So a number line is a line with numbers on it. Right? It's a line with numbers on it. So let's imagine that that we're going to do, uh, let's see, uh, negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5. Um, this tells us where we face, and this tells us how we walk. What do I mean? Well, negative 2, that's our starting point. Negative 2 is our starting point. We start on negative 2. We face the positive end of the number line. So we're looking this way. We're facing the positive end of the number line. How do we walk? We walk forward 5. This is forward 5. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not necessarily to the right, forward. We're walking forward 5 from this spot. And that ends us up here at 3. 
if I were to demonstrate once more, I might say, uh, what if we were adding 2 plus negative 4? 2 plus negative 4. So the 2 is our starting place. We look toward the positive end of the number line. Right? This is where we face. But this is how we walk. And we are walking backward 4. So if I'm facing positive end of the number line, but I'm walking backward, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, end up here, 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. These are the two models that we use for addition of integers. We are either using integer chips or we are using the number line. So I would encourage you to think about these. Think about them for a moment. Model them. Hit the pause button. Make sure you're comfortable with both models on these. Hit the pause button. We'll show you in a moment. Told you I'd show you in a moment. Hopefully you got those right. And we'll talk more about it when we gather together. Thanks, everybody.